Hey guys, welcome to the latest episode of this unbelievable life. Today I have with me Ashlyn Thompson, the head of marketing at Camelot Jewelers. She is an Evansville native who went to high school at North, graduating in 2019, and she attended at college at University of Evansville with a full tuition scholarship through the High School Changemaker Challenge. She and two team teammates uh, came up with an idea for a musical swing set that would serve as a stress reliever and community builder in downtown Evansville. She has been very active in the community ever since, completing two community change lab projects while in college. Now, having graduated in the class of 2023, she is enthusiastically embracing her role at Camelot. Today, she's going to talk about permanent jewelry and what they've got going on at Camelot in terms of that. So, Ashlyn, take it away. Hi, thanks, Nikki, for having me on. Yes, I have so much that I would like to share with you guys today, um, but thank you first for letting me be on uh, to represent this awesome company, uh, family-owned and women-owned local business in Evansville, Indiana. Uh, we've been running for about 37 years now, um, and this was actually my very first job in high school, um, and coming back here is just so fulfilling, and I love uh, getting to apply both my passions in marketing um, and jewelry together in the best way. So um, yeah, today I wanted to talk to you about our permanent jewelry. I'm wearing some right now and permanent jewelry looks different for everybody. It can be an anklet, it can be a bracelet, it can be a necklace. Um, but one thing that's super special about it is it doesn't have a clasp um, attached to it. So if you look at mine, you see those that little loop right there that is soldered on. So you do not have to worry about taking it off and taking it on. Um, if you need to get it taken off for any reason, we can do it or you can do it yourself and then come back um, whenever you want it back on and we'll get it resoldered again. You can get it in silver, gold, whatever material that you like. And um, it, it's just a very unique way to tie meaning um, with jewelry together as a reminder. Um, for me personally, I got my first one right here, this gold one. This one I got with uh, my my mom and my aunt whenever my grandma passed. So it has that special meaning to it, um, but it, it gets to stay on my wrist for however long I want. And then I got this one for Mother's Day with my mom, just as a symbol of bonding with her. Um, but really, permanent jewelry can look different for everyone. If you want to use it for a party, um, for with your friends, a birthday party, um, it, it's just a great way to have that lasting memory with someone. Um, we do have appointments. You can just go ahead and uh, follow us on social media right now because uh, I'm going to have so much posting out and blasting out with uh, permanent jewelry and future events that we're doing with it. Um, but if you DM us on Instagram or Facebook, we'll get back with you. Um, just go ahead and give us a time, a day that you'd like to do the permanent jewelry. Um, and we'll make sure that we have someone here to do it. Go ahead and let us know about the size of your party. Um, but really, it's up to you. You get to pick out the length, uh, the type of chain, all of it, uh, down to just the very nitty gritty detail. You can have a charm on it if you like, a birthstone charm um, for your birthday. It, it really is customizable to you. Um, but those were the meaning of mine. And uh, another thing that we're doing is private parties. Private parties, I just learned about myself and I'm super excited to host one of my own. But private parties, um, it's unlike an appointment, which takes place in during the work week and during the middle of our uh, hours of work. So if you are interested in having a private event of some sort or um, in something outside of an appointment, we can do that too. Uh, we are, we've done pop-up events at the Bauer House. Um, just for private parties, we could do one here at the store in our after hours. Um, and we could provide food and everything of that sort. The solder um, fee and food included per person is $45 for a special event. Um, but really, it's a great way to bond um, with the people around you. And it's a fun experience. It only takes about uh, 20 to 30 minutes usually for everyone to get done in your party. Um, but it, it's pretty awesome. 
and I know Nikki has a story as well um, about permanent jewelry too, but for the life that it's on, um, if it ever breaks off or anything like that, you just bring it back in and we'll get it resoldered on for no cost to you. You pay that one solder fee and that is it. Another thing that I would like to mention about our permanent jewelry is something brand new that I've been working on since I started here in June. It is the give back uh, events that we're going to be hosting in late July. I'm going to get into that a little bit more the next time I'm on Nikki's podcast of what that actually will look like, but it'll only be for permanent jewelry and it'll be a full day for uh, anybody to come in and give back to an organization by getting permanent jewelry put on. Um, but those are only the certain days that we'll have it available all day. Um, if you want to come in and get an appointment or if you want to give us a call and get an appointment set up, that would probably be the best way to do it um, just so that we have somebody here to be able to do it. I'm still learning at the moment how to put it on. So uh, it's super fun to just have that bonding experience um, with the ones you love for a a silver chain link, like the one that I'm wearing. Let's see here. I'm going to try to find, get it to where it's just that one. So the silver chain link right here, um, it starts off around $2 per inch. And so what we'll do is we'll measure it around your wrist. And I like mine hanging a little bit, but um, it will measure it around your wrist and then measure it out and then add it up and give you the total with the solder fee. Um, then you can decide what you want to do. It, there's nothing wrong with backing out of it. If you're a little nervous, it's just like some people would compare it to getting a tattoo. I wouldn't go that far because you can get it cut off. But um, I would say like if it's not your thing, that's okay. You can get it cut off. And if it becomes something that you want to have back on, you can have it back on. Um, we are also doing uh, for like girls that play volleyball or sports of any kind, um, we'll put a clasp on it still, but you will get it soldered on at the same time with everyone around you so that it's still that experience and you're not being left out in any way, shape or form, but you'll be able to remove it easily so that um, you can play your sport and not get in trouble with your coach because I would get in trouble with my coach for wearing jewelry all the time. So... Yeah. Um, are there any questions you have for me, Nikki, about this opportunity? No, but I actually have some stories of my own, like you mentioned. Sure. So my daughter and I have a handful of the bracelets and we do them just to kind of commemorate special events between us. So I think I'm up to three, but a few stories. One, my first bracelet, I actually had to go to the emergency room. Um, I think it was last year, the year before this, you know, I guess it was last year, but I could tell how much swelling it was a bee sting instant and I could tell how much swelling I had because my wrist just kept getting bigger and bigger and I thought to myself at some point I might have to cut this off but then it, the we got a Benadryl in me and everything started going down but that's the joy of this if you really need to remove it in case of emergency it's literally just a quick snip of, of scissors I'm gonna be honest or something that's going to get through that metal so very very easy to remove in case of emergency but with that said so I have the three, um, my, one of my puppies caught it with his tooth. So I've got my three sitting on the counter, ready to have them reapplied when me and I come in this summer before she goes away back to school. Because what I love about it is uh, essentially like every time I get in the car and I start driving with both hands, I see that. And that reminds me of her and the experiences we had every time I see it. And so I, I feel very blessed that you guys have brought this to this area we actually did our first one in Louisville before you guys were doing this. And so exciting that we have something like this in our area because it's not just the jewelry. It's the experience right. and the memories that you create with it. So um, anything else you want to share to wrap up? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, my mom, she had to get a, a CAT scan done one time and she had to remove hers because the metal detectors. So, I mean, it's a very common thing and it don't be at all um turned off by the idea of coming back in and getting it resoldered. We want you to enjoy this piece and the meaning that it has behind it for you. Um, another thing I'd like to add before we wrap up here, we're having a sale right now until the like until next Wednesday. Uh, it's a buy one, get one on our estate and clearance. Um, 
to shop online or learn anything more about our permanent jewelry, you can go to shopcamelotjewelers.com. Uh, all of our permanent jewelry information on there is on there. Our email is on there. Our phone number is on there. Um, if you want to give us a call, please do. Um, but also shop our uh, clearance on there with code June 30 for 30% 30 off um, till next Wednesday. So yes, thank you, Nikki, for having me on. This is wonderful. And I will see you guys next month with our next topic. Yeah, well, and then just to wrap up too, um, I just can't stress enough what a variety of bracelet options you have. So whether you like gold, you like silver, you like bigger, you like dainty, there's so many things to choose from. There's a little bit of something for everybody. With that said, thank you, Ashlyn, so much for coming on today. And I just want to um, thank everybody for listening and wish everybody a blessed and wonderful day.